Now that everything is ready and double checked, you're going to light the gasifier using a portable propane torch. If your feedstock is too wet, the igniter may have trouble getting the smoke to light. Wait a few minutes, but if it doesn't light, you may have to start over with drier feedstock. Fill the squeeze bottle that came with your machine with something like alcohol, gasoline, kerosene, diesel, or almost any flammable liquid, and then squirt it into the lighting port for a few seconds before you use the torch. Open the valve that leads to the flare and close the valve that leads to the engine and turn up the gas blower setting until the pressure reading on the PCU, the P react, gets to 10. And then set the air blower knob just a little less than the gas one. Take the plug out of the lightning port on top of the reactor. Point the flame from your torch into the lighting port. The blowers should suck the flame in and begin to light the feedstock. If your fuel is nice and dry, it should light right up. But if you hold the torch in the lighting port for a minute and aren't seeing any smoke coming out of the top of the flare, you may need to squirt some of the lighting fluid from the squeeze bottle into the hole. A three or four second squirt should be enough. When you start to see smoke coming out of the top of the flare stack, you can shut off your torch. The first thing that will come out of the flare will be a white smoke which is actually a mixture of steam from the feedstock as it heats up, as well as smoke, which contains a lot of tar gases, which are flammable. As the reactor warms up, once the T-rest temperature gets over 50, the igniter on the top of the flare stack will turn on, and you should be able to see its tip start to glow red hot. This should light the gases coming out of the flare. Once you've got it lit, you want to get the flame burning nice and clean. Start by slowly turning up the air knob just until flames coming out of the top get pulled down into the flare stack and begin to make a much louder sound, a kind of low-pitched roaring. Once you get the flames roaring inside the flare, turn up the gas knob until you get a P-react vacuum reading of 40. Keep the air only just as high as you need to keep the flare burning like this, which will help your reactor warm up faster. Once the T-rest is over 80 degrees Celsius, you can put the cap back on the lighting port and tighten it lightly. It needs to be snug, but you don't really need to tighten it down. If the feedstock is too wet, the igniter may have trouble getting the smoke to light. Wait a few minutes, but if it doesn't light, you may have to start over with drier feedstock. The gasifier needs plenty of airflow to get hot enough to make enough gas to run the engine. When starting up, this suction is made by the gas blowers, but when the engine is running, there's an even stronger suction. So, if the temperatures aren't going up very fast, turn up the gas blowers. They may even need to be all the way up to 11 to get your gasifier running really well. That's over 800 for T-Rest and over 700 for the T-Red before you start your engine. This can take up to 20 minutes. Once your flare has been burning long enough to get the reactor hot, you're ready to start your engine. 